I think about any curses. I don't look backwards. I'm not interested in what's happened in the past. I'm going to learn as many dances as I can as a non-dancer. I'm going to prove something, if I can, that the older person is perfectly capable of picking up this cudgel mm. and manipulating it and having a go. You can lose a couple of stone of weight, right? You can go out. Any person, any sausage in this country can go out and join a dance class anywhere, all right? There are great instructors. Natalie and I are trying to make um, Bargain Hunt across this series of, of, of Strictly 2. I've got to go out there and make these programs, right? So when I go off filming somewhere or other, if I go off to Stafford, she's got to come off to Stafford with me, all right? So we dance, we will dance across the series in a variety of oddball so you're places. you're dancing at antiques fairs. Yes. Well, or, or, in, or in scout huts. Yep. Or in kind of little old places, wherever we can joking. grab. Do you think you'll be dancing on Bargain Hunt? <clears throat> well, we've had a few kicks already on we Bargain have, Hunt, yeah. actually. Yeah, um, no, I, we could well dance on Bargain Hunt. But seriously, the process of making Bargain Hunt at the same time as Strictly is a complicated one. And the Matrix only works if Nat comes out on location with me. And that means we will be dancing in some bizarre places. And my point is that so far... I've been amazed that around Britain, in unlikely places, are dance schools everywhere. Mm -hmm. Sometimes with little kiddiewids in pink tutus looking just adorable. You know, the young hopefuls who are two or three who want to go out there and dance, as well as older people who turn to dancing as a form of exercise and a form of social communication and have the most fantastic time. Mm -hmm. And that's the message we'll send out. Yeah. I can do it. If I can do it as a fat old geezer that's who's been around for three score years and nearly, um, then you, you know, frankly, anybody can do it. Uh, just quickly back to the curse, can you understand how this happens and why it happens when a partner and the celebrity get much closer than just chemistry? Well, I don't know, because it's all a question of um, where you come from, really, isn't it? If you're in a relationship, and one is in a relationship which is solid and sure, I mean, I've been married to my wife for 30 years, mm. and she is my rock, okay? You, you know, you raise your children, you do what you do. I happen to be lucky enough in this instance, to come across Natalie Lowe. What a joy that has been in my life. And when you see the stuff and the fun that we're having, mm. so what? We're having fun. So do you think the others should exercise a bit of restraint here? I wouldn't, <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to comment about anybody else, quite frankly. Because I've got nothing to say about anyone else. I can only talk about myself and my experience. And my experience, so far, has been pure delight on this programme. And I recommend the whole topic of dancing and kind of self-analysis that comes with it. Because which way do your feet go? Do you have a form of communication? Have you any rhythm in you? You know, all this stuff, I believe, is in most people, actually. 